and welcome to Rockin' the Planet. I'm Shane, and we're the show that is dedicated to keeping New Zealand music alive. Live music to your screens every single week of the year. Long live rock and roll. And now let's meet some guys who really know the meaning of that word, the mighty groove diggers. Grant Wills, hey, Shane, give us a handshake, come on mate, right. Marty Clark, hey, Shane. and DC, we Shane, call him Dave, yeah, yeah. short for Dave Curtis, you know, yeah. son of Tony, son of Tony. <laughs> anyway, guys, we've got some wonderful music to play tonight and some wonderful interviews to talk, we're going to chat and chat and chat, um, I think we should go straight to the music so everybody out there knows what you're really all about. Yeah, yeah. let's get it on. Let's yep. go. Let's go. We got to get down to brass tacks here. It's good to have you here, mate. Oh, it's, it's fantastic really pleasure. Really, really, really. I mean, uh, we've been mates for I don't know years and years and years. It goes on and on. It does. And uh, I mean, you used to be just a little boy that high when I started out. You look like the guy in ACDC. Uh, but anyway, you um, you play lead guitar for the band. Yes, sir. And you were one of the founding members of the band. Yeah. Yep, and yep. Uh, I want to know now what instigated you to form this band? Is it because it's, it's your outlet? Because I know you play a lot of music with other people. And yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, originally, um, we, we set the band up, Marty and myself, and yeah. Dave Manning, who's not, unfortunately, yeah. can't be with us tonight. Yeah. But uh, we set the band up originally with a friend to, yeah, it was more of an, an outlet to sort of play the music we wanted to play. Like a lot of the yeah. cover bands around town were all, it's all yeah, disco yeah, fever yeah, yeah, and stuff. Yeah, exactly. And, we don't, and, I saw the way you looked on the No, 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 nothing wrong with that. And, and more power to them. No, man, and a lot of respect <laughs> to them. They're doing a great job. But we, we sort of wanted to go uh, more sort of the rock sort of feel. Yeah. So what we did is we originally took hold of some classic songs yeah. and took them, what we used to say is take them out of the car park and beat them up. Yeah, so we'd yeah. go and we'd change them and we'd, and we'd play them. And that's how it started, didn't it, Marty? And it was just sort of, it was more like a party sort of thing. Yes. And then what happened as a result of that is somebody heard us and said, you know what? You guys should do a gig, and we thought, well, that's a that's a novel idea. Uh, so, and there's money and drink and everything. Yeah. Uh, so we drink decided, and everything. And everything. Yeah. So anyway, so we that's that was the formation of the Groove Diggers, and that's how it sort of started off in its original yeah. uh, setup. And that was that would have been about 15 years ago. Yeah, mm. I mean, what a great band! I couldn't yeah. wish for better. You know, yeah. great musicians yeah. and great showmen. 
Yes, sir. You yeah, are yeah. a true showman. And this guy now, here is. Um, I have to ask about you because I'll get to those yeah. guys, don't you? Yeah, I'm going to get down the ball. I'm swinging the ball. Yeah, swinging the ball away. Yeah. But about you. You started out playing guitar. You're an Aucklander. Yes, sir. And yeah. you, where'd you play at college? In, in a band? I, um, or something? Did you just I actually, start out? I actually started playing the drums. I, I wanted, when I was a young fellow, I wanted yeah. to be a drummer more than anything. So we didn't actually have a a, a proper drum kit. So yeah. I learned to play in a very unusual way with the you know that funny little hammer thing on the floor that hits a bass drum. No. Never had oh, one of those. Yeah. <laughs> so I used to kick it uh, with my foot. Yeah, yeah. So it didn't get many gigs. Went through uh, a lot of shoes. A good friend of right mine, foot. and I hope he's watching this, Mark Wensky, who's, yeah. uh, who's a, a, a very, very old friend of mine. He's a guitar player um, and still out there doing it, and he's a really amazing guitarist. Yes. And uh, he was a f sort of a friend of the family. And I heard him play guitar, and I thought, oh, man, he's so good. And so Mark started giving me a few lessons, and I just got hooked. And that was, uh, I think I was yeah. about 15 years old. And the Hendrix thing was... Oh, yeah, the Hendrix thing. I was a Led Zeppelin nut. Led Zeppelin, Led Hendrix, Zeppelin. I just all that sort of, that 60s sort of music. Yeah, sort of 60s, sort of the hard rock, yeah, the hard sort of rock late stuff, 60s yeah. sort of stuff. When it started turning to metal, sort of. Yeah, yeah sort yeah. of. Yeah, we, went, we all went through that sort of phase of, yeah. the, you know, lots of hairspray yeah. and, and spandex burns. Yeah. Um, <laughs> still carry the scars. <laughs> yeah. uh, but no, I don't. No. Uh, but, uh, I noticed yeah. you're sitting in a funny... <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting in a funny <laughs> position. I actually wore my leopard skin ones tonight. Just, I don't know, just for all the time. They look great, look great. Thanks. You got yours on, Marty? Oh, well, yes. Yeah, DC? Oh, oh, DC's got tartan no, ones. He's got tartan so ones. He's got that. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so that's, that's, that's kind of where I started. And, yeah. um, and, and then from then on, just played. And you progressed. Played, played. And, yeah. and through other bands and things? Yes, I mean, absolutely. I played uh, many bands. Music Planet, um, the, the store, the wonderful store yes. that sponsors the show. Yeah. Uh, Kerry Adams, who's one oh, of the, Kerry, one yeah. of the uh, store managers. Uh, I was in bands with him. Yeah. Um, great bands, um, you know, with him. Really good songwriter, too. Um, so, mm. yeah, came through. I played in lots and lots of different bands. Mm. But I always sort of try and find a home base act. So yes. I'm sort of playing this band. This, this, this is, is my, sort this of is your my home base act. Yeah, this this is this is we, I wish we were playing more. Um, you yeah. guys do fantastic versions of covers. You rearrange a lot of great yeah, yeah, songs. Yeah. I mean, you really do. Mm. Um, have you d thought about writing some of the stuff? Oh, Marty and I were in a band back in the eighties called Dark Harbour in the late yeah. sort of mid late eighties, and we had a single out, and we did a lot. Of, and we've been in, a, uh, we've had another band, Ninety Mile Beach, yeah. um, we've, we've, we're, which have, we've had albums out, mm. and a band called Blackwater. Yeah. Again, all these sort of things that Marty and I always end up gravitating to be sort of involved in with other people, you know. Um, so we have a back catalogue of original material, which is, is, is pretty uh, pretty vast. And you'll work so, on that. Yeah, so what we decided to do, we sort of made a decision this year. The Groove Diggers have been going for a long time now, and we, and we do our thing. And we How many years? Shows. We're 15 years. 15 this, I think years. it's 15 this year, isn't it? 15. Yeah, yeah. So we've got to have a big celebratory birthday yeah. with Rockin' the Planet with again. With the Planet, the, yeah. Man, a few what months a great, down the what line. What a great gig that was. We, yeah. we loved, we, we had a great time at the show. Yeah. It was great. It was really oh, you good. play well. Everyone yeah. loved you. Yeah, it was great. Everyone's still yeah. talking about it on yeah. YouTube and all the rest yeah. of it. Yeah, no, it was uh, really good. I really appreciate you guys giving us the opportunity and also for Music Planet for and Roger and, and all for, for giving us the opportunity to do it. Love you. I know. Now, Just got to get the sponsor there. Let's listen to this band and see what they're all about. All right. Let's get down. Okay, we got you.
Now a reminder, if you love live music, you're all invited to join us at the CT Club at 27 O'Hinney Rouse Street in Remuera. We've been having a ball and you can be part of our studio audience while we film our live band of the week. Now our next live band is the Shea Orton Band, who were recently voted the Variety Artists Club Band of the Year. So be there at 7 p.m. Friday, the 20th of June. If you feel like celebrating a mid-year Christmas on the night, there's a delicious buffet Christmas dinner available at just $20 a head. Now to Marty Clark, the lead man, the front man, and a, what a vocalist, man. Good to see you here. Thank you, Marty. Thanks, Marty. Cheers. Marty Clark. Now, Marty, where's it all started for you? you? You're a great vocalist. I mean, where did you learn this wonderful way of singing? Um, we moved to a small town called Waihee, which is up in the Coromandel. And uh, oh, right. there, was no, there was no music in Waihee. It's a very small country country town. And uh, there's, a, there's a rite of passage you have to go through called rugby. Oh, okay. And uh, so you're travelling on, uh, on the bus off to mm. your rugby gigs and... I have a band. Oh, yeah. oh, that one. That okay. one. Honestly. And, uh, and, so you and should guys, do it like, going, oh, <laughs> Hey, bro, you know, um, that park, your boy down the back, it's got a pretty good voice, eh? Strong so ass. Yeah, should be in your band. What? You should be in your band. Hey, bro, do you want to be in my band? Does it involve girls? <laughs> yes, it probably does. I'm in. Because, you know, it's a young boy in a, in a, in a, in a mining, mining town. That's a mining sound. A yeah, so um, <laughs> so I, I basically picked up picked up music music there and. Uh, but I, you had really had the urge. You wanted to get a band together. You wanted to be, yeah. you know, you want to establish yourself in the music. Well, you business need you need to something. realize who best suits your voice. A yeah. lot of times. Yes, you, exactly. You work with players that best suit the way that you play, and um, and in this respect, That's Grant, right. Grant fitted fitted the bill, and um, as the band developed. Yes. And we went through the 90 Mile Beat stage mm. and um, became the, gro the Groove Diggers. The four piece became a five piece mm. with, uh, with, with David, keyboards, yeah. David, David Curtis. Yeah. And it, uh, the band now has um, three, yeah, three, three part <laughs> harmonies. Oh, no, and, I mean, uh, I, I work with you, it's beautiful. You know, um, the whole direction of the music yeah. has started to extend. Oh, you've really grown even since, I mean, uh, probably when did I first meet Grant? Uh, years ago now it's um it seems a long time ago but uh we were doing more show things mm. and it, we were weren't still a set unit that was playing as a band mm. and that like he said he wants his home base and that's you're perfect for it oh, it is, and yeah. you two guys know each other so well now you're good buddies and you see i saw just watching the clips uh you know great you've really come a long way in the last five six years yeah. it really storming along and um, you sound like a band now, a real band. Yes, you know, definitely. Something sounds to like deal with, you know. Mm. And uh, a lot of people, it takes a long time to hone that and get to it be a band. And, uh, sharpening the, red, yeah. the edge of your But rates. it's good to see you are so into it, you know. Uh, I know you're still teaching and doing yes, your I'm, stuff. Yes, I'm teaching uh, uh, history and yeah. social science. As far as the band goes, I can see a great future. And, and you're really dedicated now to seeing this band move on mm. with an album and some writing. Yeah, and, I think uh, what's happening that's now... That's the next stage, I yeah, can it see. Is. It the band is starting to, to develop to the next stage now of, of incorporating some original material yeah. from uh, a back issue about... And and, uh, and incorporating it with new songs that grow yeah, up right, yeah. to right now. Establishing, mm. take, gathering up everything you've mm. learned so far, yeah. and really getting something. I think that's, organized that, now. that is important because now you become part of the New Zealand music culture, yeah. rather than just a band that covers other to. bands. Yeah, you have to. There's a lot of bands out there just they come and they just disappear mm. again. They've gone. A lot of members get into other bands. Mm. Luckily, that write new material, but it's time for you guys to do that. I think so. you've got a great following now. Uh, a lot of people love it. They all know you're a great rock and roll band. Uh, all the musicianship's there. Mm. Everyone's there. You've got everyone's on board. You're ready to go. You know. We are indeed. So, uh, Marty, thank you I very wish much. you all the success, mate. Thank you very much, mate. You're a great guy. Cheers. Love you. Time for some summer sounds and a little bit of reggae and dreadlock holiday. <laughs>
And now, calling all budding musicians, as well as professional musicians, if you desire to aspire to greatness in the music world, you need go no further than Music Planet. The friendly, helpful staff really know their stuff. All being talented musicians themselves, they will help you get started no matter what your budget. New strings, new drum skins, a piano, a guitar, a sax, hundreds of musical instruments to choose from, with nine friendly stores throughout New Zealand, Music Planet. And now from the Inverness Bingo Club, we have David <laughs> Curtis. That's not the name of the band. That's the name of <laughs> the club he inhabits. Okay, hey, mate. Good to see you, Good David. To see you. Good to see you. It's turning into a party, it I can is, see. It is. What a lovely, friendly band. Anyway, We're a family. You, must have, you must have been happy to join this band. Like you say, family. Absolutely. And yeah. you've been with them for how long now? Ooh, it must be uh, five years or <laughs> more. <laughs> A long time. He reckons it seems like 10. A long time. (laughs) But you've been with them for over five, six years anyway. Settling in period. Settling in period. I'm still still passing the audition, I think. Oh, you've passed that. I've passed the audition. I think you have. Yeah, now, um, your musical career, you are actually a New Zealander. A lot of people think you're a Scotsman. No, I've got Scottish heritage. But you have heritage, and that's where from. I was born here. And you you still speak with a slight Scots accent, I must Mm. say. Um, over there, they think you were gay because you've got quite a, a <laughs> soft accent. I'm just very accent. happy, you know. It's a very soft <laughs> accent, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a good band, I tell you. Oh, we're a good band, we're a good band. I need a drink. You're allowed, to, you're allowed, to, you're allowed to say gay, gay now. Facebook all after that one, Sonny. All right. All right, David. <laughs> DC, as we now know. We call you DC, yeah. Mm. Now, DC, um, your musical career, it all started out in Auckland then uh, with it bands did. and things? I was, I was actually in the Ponsonby Boys Brass Band. Oh, so you were playing, a, what, kit, French horn or something? Cornet. Was a cornet, cornet, okay. <laughs> and, uh, and then, like Grant, went, uh, I, was, I always wanted to be a drummer. You know, learned, yeah? You know, played, played drums. This is at age? 13, 14, yeah, 15. 13, 14, yeah. Then um, I joined um, a band that already had two drummers. So I wasn't needed as a drummer anymore. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I don't think so. So uh, um, Congas, I, I switched, bongos. To, uh, switched to keyboards. Yeah, so just like uh, that. Just like that. Well, yeah. 14, I'd always, 15, I'd you played decide, piano. As a, you played a bit of piano yeah, anyway. Yeah, you had some piano. lessons, things. Yeah. So you decided you want to be a keyboard player. I wanted to be a keyboard player, so uh, bought a trusty transonic <laughs> organ, Jensen yeah. transonic keyboard. I like that transonic organ. Transonic yeah. organ, and uh, the old Yamaha YC. Tim, isn't it? Uh, uh, yeah. the different yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know the ones. Yeah. So, yeah. And that, that no, it's had it's the, the Rick Wakeman double yeah. stack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, so you went, went into the heavy metal sort of music? <laughs> well, you know, with yeah. your. Yeah, <laughs> with your with box. The transonic. Yeah. Yeah, transonic. Uh, yeah, I used to listen to a lot of uh, Rick Wakeman, later, Elton John later. and. Um, so that were your influences, Rick Wakeman. Yeah, and yeah, just used to Elton John. play to the record, put the, put the old vinyl on the on the, st- yeah, on the and r- just stereo then, and just play along. With play it, along with it. Play along with it. Pick it all the notes learn, out. Learn, and learn yeah. their styles and. Yeah, I did that. It didn't work. Didn't it? No, never worked. <laughs> I got some people are listening to the wrong people. Some people are for it. I just have to interject, right? Because when yeah. I first met DC, yeah. right, and he was a keyboard player, right, yes. and 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 DC's the sort of guy that. He can. Pl- he's a really good guitarist. He plays mandolin. Oh, he can play just. A, you know, he's a humble a, man. A, the Patagonian <laughs> nose, <spin, laughs> knock it out of the park, right? Absolutely. He's one of those. And and what happened was, I didn't know that he played any other instruments. No, well, I wouldn't and, know. Right? And, uh, and and so I said, oh, DC. Uh, well, we were doing a song with a sax, a, uh, a sax part in it. And I Saturday said, night. Saturday night. Mm-hmm. The cultures will tune, which we still do on occasion. And um, and I uh, I said, oh man, I wish we I wish we had a sax, you know, because a real it's a real sort of part of the song. Yeah, yeah. So he goes, oh, I play a little bit of. Sex. Oh yeah. Oh do you? Okay. So he gets the sex out, starts playing it. Like, okay. Boys uh, Yeah. And then and then and I'm yeah. sure it's because he just doesn't want to carry the stuff to stuff to the gig. That's right. right? So yeah, he's and, load and, out. and then and then he gets a guitar. He says, Oh, he says, oh, I've got a I've got a guitar. Oh, have you DC? Oh yeah, I've got a guitar. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a Strat and I've got an acoustic and I've got a this and a that. And I'm like, what? And he gets a guitar out and he starts ripping on the. And I'm like, okay. Anything else? <laughs> You know, so if you ever get caught for somebody like to play yeah. harp oh, or something, okay. and you know, mandolin, but you're multi-talented. That's for yeah. sure. He's what they call in so Scotland a multi. He's your reserve, uh, yeah. Yeah. a mess of boot. He's, you know, he's also your boot. reserve. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, Dave, great having you here, guys. Thanks, right? It really is a pleasure, and we're going to get back to the guys for a little bit of a jam soon. Well, let's get back to live, mighty groove digging.
couple of guys here tonight that couldn't be here, and I'm going to ask you guys, tell me about the guys, that the bass player yeah. and the drummer, of course. John Scott. John Scott and Dave Manning. And Dave Manning. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, Dave Manning has been part of our little family group yeah. um, for a very, very long time. He was in the Snapperhead band. Yeah. Uh, he was also in a, a New Zealand Originals band called Everything That Flies, and they had they won a video, Best Video of the Year award for a song called Bleeding Heart. Okay. And they were sort of round in the late 80s, eh, Martin? Yes, late yes, 80s, and they, and so, Di yeah, et cetera. Oh, Diane. Yeah, yeah. So um, he was in that band, and he's been in various other sort of cover bands, but he's sort of, I'm in business with him. Yeah. Um, uh, but he's been in with the Groove Diggers and with Snapperhead and the Groove Diggers. From, from and this one. business is, you know, you make musical pedals. Yeah, we make these. We make, you these make little, all these gadgets. Little custom, little the guitar pedals. Thank you. They're very yep. good. Yep. G to D dot co dot NZ. Thank you very much. Uh, but anyway, um, <laughs> just just kidding, just a bit of a shameless plug. Uh, no, but, um, please do. So, so Dave, um, Dave's a really amazing bass player. He's a great sound engineer. Yeah. Yeah. Any of the recordings that we've done, he's been behind the thing. He gets a, his, uh, his behind line, the desk. Behind the desk there, his live sound is really good, and he's a really really talented musician. Yeah. He's got a great ear. And he's a real, he's again an, an asset, real asset to have. And he's, you know, he's he's a lot of yeah. laughs. I mean, I've got, yeah, I mean, yeah. if we had longer, I've got some story yeah. about. I know. I, I won't I, tell him. <laughs> it's, it, it's I've legal, been there. There's legal issues. Uh, and the other person that, that's Scott. not here is Johnny Scott, who's uh, a great drummer, and he is uh, again a very precise, very, very great player. He's played with Shane Quartiers and Jimmy. I say he's played with so many people. And he's Jerry played with me. and. Uh, yeah, well, and who was it? Jerry and the Pacemakers. Yeah. Toured, Jerry and the Pacemakers toured with them, and yep. uh, so yeah, yep. uh, yeah, yeah. So Johnny's like Johnny's yeah. got a, his resume is like one of the great resume, sort of yeah. rolls out across the floor. Great so, drummer, yeah. yeah, and a modest man. Too. Oh, he is. He's a great guy, yeah. and he's and again, we we are really really fortunate to have him in this group. Yeah, enough about the rest of the guys. Yeah, you've got a great band. We know it. We love it. I've got this beautiful guitar, and Music Planet asked me quite often. They say, "Will you get the guys to have a little jam on the guitar and try sure. it out yeah. and give it a go and yeah. tell me what you think?" Mm. Now you've got to say that is a beautiful yeah, that's guitar. It's pretty awesome. Oh man, it's made of ash. That solid block of ash there. Yeah, right? man, that's what they say. Yeah. Uh, obviously, with maple neck. And La Rive. Um, La yeah, Larive. Yeah. The man from Larive. <laughs> oh, that's what Larive. Man, that is a. I believe it's a French, a French uh, brand, isn't it? Yeah, I think Larive, so. Yes. I think so. Yeah, uh, but, I think it's uh, out of. They might be out of Canada, I believe. I, I could I be mean, wrong on that. They aren't huge. Yeah, of course, yeah. French Canada being yeah. uh, whatever. Yeah. But they, they are a fantastic guitar. Yeah. And asked, he definitely asked me. He said, "No, Grant will love this guitar." Well, it's the right everything, isn't it? And it's, it's the right a, shape. and you play a telly oh, yeah. yourself. I mean, quite often. Yeah, uh, I do. Yeah. They're much the same shape and mm. everything. And yeah, no, it is a same sort of really? assets. Yes, you can. But this one, I like yeah, the little, right. little cutaway on here. Little cutaway, beautiful. a little bit of a comfort cutaway yeah, for all the telecaster cutaway, players yeah, out yeah. there. Look at that. No dead hand yeah. anymore. Yeah, yeah. no. So I do the whole no. thing. A tummy cut for us are a little bit waistline challenged. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, so you're just fitting in there. Yeah, it's choice, bro. Perfect. Yeah, no, but, uh, yeah. no, that's. Uh, so it's perfect. Now, we've also got a keyboard. As you can see, the Korg is the King Korg. And it's been sitting uh, on display here in our studio for the last few weeks. And tonight we've got David Curtis here. What better man to try it out? Mm. Beautiful sound. Is that not too loud, guys? All good? Okay. Shane, and thanks for joining me this week on Rockin' the Planet with my special guest, the Mighty Groove Diggers. Now those guys, go and see them live, you won't be disappointed. 
Meanwhile, let's go out with some good old rock and roll. Nothing hurts.